Hi, I am Farnoosh, and in this video I would like to talk about adaptive token sampling for efficient vision transformers. But before that, I would like to briefly talk about vision transformers. Recently, vision transformers could achieve promising results in the image and video classification tasks. A VID model receives an input image, splits it into a sort of non-overlapping patches, transforms those patches into a sort of input tokens, and then passes those tokens through a set of transformer encoder layers. In the end, there is a classification head that performs the final classification. Please keep in mind that among these input tokens, the classification token is the most important one since the final prediction is performed only based on this token. Although VIT performs really well in the image classification task, the problem is that its computational complexity is really high and it grows quadratically with the number of input tokens. But look at this image on the top of the page. Does the model need all input tokens to classify this image as a cat? Well, of course not. For example, those tokens that are related to a homogeneous background are redundant and they can be easily removed. Now, look at these images at the bottom of the page. Is the same number of tokens required for all of these images to be classified correctly? Well, definitely not, and that is why we propose our adaptive token sampling approach. Our adaptive token sampler, or ATS module, is a differentiable parameter-free module that can be added to any existing vision transformer architecture and reduce its computational complexity by reducing the number of input tokens. When adding ATS to a transformer block of a vision transformer architecture, we should specify an upper bound for the number of sample tokens at that specific stage, and then ATS can decide about the required number of input tokens based on the image content. As you can see, our adaptive token sampling approach is composed of two steps. The first the step is token score assignment, and the second step is inverse transform sampling. First of all, I would like to briefly talk about the token score assignment step, which is simple yet very efficient. Here you can see the attention matrix A. We know that the first row of the attention matrix represents the attention weights of the classification token. And as I mentioned earlier, the classification token is very important since the final prediction is performed only based on this token. That's why we believe that these scores can be used as significance scores because they actually represent how other tokens are contributing to the classification token, or they actually show how other tokens are contributing to the final prediction. So having these significance scores, now we can sample the input tokens using inverse transform sampling, and having the indices of the tokens to be sampled, we can prune the attention matrix A to get a new attention matrix called AS, then by, by multiplying the attention matrix AS with the values V, we can get our pruned outputs O. To analyze the effectiveness of our module, we added our ATS module to multiple stages of the DITS small model, and you can observe the gradual token sampling procedure of this adaptive model. As it can be seen, the sampled tokens in the final stage of the model are mainly related to the object that should be classified and the background tokens are discarded. To represent the dynamicity of our approach, we selected several images of the ImageNet validation set with uh, various amounts of details and complexities and then visualized the gradual token sampling procedure of our adaptive model for these images. Well, as shown, our adaptive model uh, samples a higher number of tokens when the input images are more cluttered. Well, we can also observe that the sample tokens are more scattered in images with more details compared to more plain images. We analyzed the efficiency of our proposed approach by adding it to uh, several vision transformer models and then evaluating their performance uh, on the ImageNet dataset. Uh, as you can see, ATS can reduce G flops significantly while almost preserving the top one accuracy in the image classification task. The same thing uh, holds for the action recognition task, and you can see our experimental results on the Kinetics 400 and Kinetics 600 datasets.